John Stewart is facing massive backlash from Democrats over his comments about Joe Biden. Stewart's return to The Daily Show on Monday night opened with a 20-minute monologue going after Donald Trump and Joe Biden. Stewart especially mocked the current president after his disastrous press conference last week, where Biden struggled to assure Americans that he was still cognitively capable of performing his duties. The conduct of the response in, Gaza, in the Gaza Strip Garbanzo. But the blowback was swift, with everyone from progressives to Elon Musk to the White House weighing in. Christy Jackson, an election commissioner in Tennessee, tweeted, Wow, so you basically say because Biden is old, he is basically as bad as Trump. Why the F do we never learn in this country? Sorry, but I won't be watching you either. Former MSNBC host Keith Oberman tweeted, Well, after nine years away, there's nothing else to say to the both sides fraud John Stewart bashing Biden except please make it another nine years. A self-described Democratic activist tweeted, John Stewart retired and came back as Bill Maher. Meanwhile, Republicans gloated a bit with Elon Musk writing, balance and humor return. And Texas Congressman Wesley Hunt tweeted, you know you're in trouble when you're a Democrat president and John Stewart turns on you. The White House was even asked to weigh in during Tuesday's press briefing, in which they noted the press conference was entirely Biden's idea. During his monologue, Stewart had lamented about Biden and Trump's age-related issues. They are the oldest people ever to run for president, breaking by only four years the record that they set! <laughs> However, Stewart's return was still a ratings hit. The Daily Show viewership shot up to 1.85 million viewers, the biggest audience for the show in nearly six years. For more on the story, head to THR.com. And for the latest entertainment news and updates, keep watching The Hollywood Reporter News.